Welcome back everybody to another video. I am here with my lovely assistant and daughter. Excited? He's ready to go to the car show, which is today's main event. This is actually day two. So we're down here trying to get you some views on views, but uh, as you can see, it's pretty overcast. But Lady Liberty is in attendance. Wells Ellis Island. It's over there. So stick with us. We're going to be bringing you all the supercars, hypercars, exotics, and all that other fancy stuff when we come back, which is right now. All right, we made it. It just poured, so we're good and wet. Find all the good content, and we'll be back in front of a supercar. All right. We found supercars. It wasn't really that much of a challenge, but I wasn't sure if we were gonna see Ferraris here. Oh, they have an Urus. They have an Urus. This is a 458. Color is insane. This is a, I almost guarantee is the 599. So it's got a V12 front engine, rear wheel drive. If I can say that. The blue on this spot, I think it's a 599. That looks sick. This is the Lamborghini Urus. It is beautiful. Sick Nissan GTR. This is a Maserati that's been Liberty Walks. Look at that. Acura NSX wrapped in gold. Lamborghini Huracan, the Liberty Walk body kit. Oh. I don't know how well you can hear me, but yeah, this is the mother load. 600, $650,000 SVJ with the ALA. That's a Lamborghini Aventador SVJ. That is a pretty car. Look at this wing. Side 
This is another 488. The American made Dodge Viper. Lamborghini Aventador. This is the crazy track focused Lamborghini Huracan Performante. This is the second Lamborghini Urus we've seen, which is Lamborghini's SUV, the twin turbo V8, over 640 power, pure monster. Another Lamborghini Huracan Performante. This is a McLaren, and to be honest, I'm not really sure if it's a 600 LT, a 650S, Pretty sure it's on a 720S. Judge for yourself. Another Lamborghini Aventador. first Lamborghini Gallardo, which is the predecessor to the Huracan. Here's the Bugatti Chiron, at one point the fastest production car ever made, only beat out recently by the Kona Sag. Here's a life-size Silverado made out of Legos. Gold Beetle. This is a Lexus LC500 with a crazy vinyl wrap job. That is a beautiful wrap job. Beautiful. special event right back there a little loud a little bit of madness but boy they had unbelievably amazing vehicles probably more than I'll be able to fit in this video unless I just go really fast um, we're gonna look for the actual manufacturers because Bugatti has a booth Lamborghini has a booth Kona Sag has a booth Audi has a booth so far all we found is trucks and crazy wrapped 
hypercars and supercars. So I'm not complaining, but let's see if we can find the rest of the levels. This is the 50th anniversary Nissan GTR, apparently handmade. These six cars on display are Nissan GTRs throughout history. Blue wheels are Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the New York International Auto Show. Allow me to introduce you to the Kia concept car that's been heating up Manhattan driving. It's also level five autonomous and has butterfly wing doors. All right, welcome to the main event, everyone. We have found the supercars and the hypercars. It is glorious. This is the Lamborghini Huracan Evo, which replaces the stock Huracan. So it's a mid-cycle refresh, I guess would be accurate to say. It's green, but I'm sure Lamborghini calls it Arancio something something. There with his big brother, the Aventador SVJ. Hopefully that's saved. We did a little intro. We found the hypercars and the supercars and the GoPro battery died. So we had a new battery. Hopefully we've breathed new life into it because side note, the GoPro has froze at least 15 times in between clips or right after I stop a clip or right before I start a new one. I don't know, it's because of how much recording I'm doing, but it certainly isn't the first time it's done it, so. A little disappointed in the GoPro right now. Fully exposed carbon looking beautiful. 110 year anniversary edition. Of the Bugatti Chiron, of course. Here's the Lamborghini Aventador SVJ. All right, I'm really excited to see this in person. The craziest hypercar on the planet, the Koenigsegg Jesko. Don't fall, bro. Might as well be a Camry. Look at those wheels. Look at the size of the big printer. That's what I need. The original Koenigsegg CCX. <laughs> There's the Remick right there, all electric. I want to say 1,000 horsepower. Richard Hammond really wants to drive this one. Oh, well, this is the one, it, it looks like a Senna but I think it was built off of a Ferrari platform. It's a race car, they made it street legal. So that is street legal. It looks like a freaking spaceship. About to take off. There's the Cullinan. The classic Ferrari GTO. Classic Ferrari. Bentley Continental GT. This is the eight cylinder one, but they make a uh, W12. This thing is gorgeous.
We did a drive-by on a couple of Maseratis. That is a pretty car. So is that. The Audi R8 shares the same Lamborghini V10 engine. Look at the carbon fiber side blade. That is beautiful. Oh. Look at the giant exhaust, too. That is a proper RA. And that wondrous, beautiful V10. Not that this is affordable, but this is more my style. RS5, Sportback, four door. Nice carbon fiber weave. Proper carbon fiber side mirror. Don't forget about the RS3. Also looking quite beautiful. Alfa Romero 4C. Not a chance I could ever even fit in that car, but it is pretty. Ooh, look at all the matte gray Stelvio Q4. GTS Cooper. AMG GT fifty three hatchback. That is actually pretty freaking beautiful. LC500 looking beautiful. That yellow is weird. Oh, yellow Alcantara inside the doors. Amazing back end. Yes, please. Lexus grill, love it or hate it. I personally love it. Ooh, it's a, uh, look at the side of the mirrors. It's got like reflective chrome over top. That's pretty four to five. All right, we almost missed one, but the NSX is not to be forgotten. It is a proper supercar. Camry T R D. Beautiful. Check this out. The Toyota Supra. All right, we're gonna wrap it up 
at the New York International Auto Show. It's 5.30. The little one's about to fall over. I can't feel anything below my knees. We've been here five hours. Yeah, we got here right around noon. I think we saw everything there is to see, and there's a lot to see. Hopefully the weather lets us explore some, but I think this is going to conclude our auto show episode. That is going to effectively end today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.